We made a big statement. Uh, a lot of the big thing that uh, people talked about about our team is playing on the road. So I mean, I think coming out and execute on the road is like we've been doing in the past. Um, just gotta keep getting better. I mean, we gave up too many things in the first drive in the first quarter. Um, just gotta keep getting better. Just tighten stuff down and just understand that we gotta play all four quarters, not just the last three. And uh, I think we did a great job uh, handling a uh, five o'clock game on Fox in LA. A bunch of distractions. So we got a bunch of guys from down here. Got a lot of family. Got a bunch of people down here uh, visiting them. So I mean, it was a big way to uh, the guy stepped up. And I think everybody did the job. So much on the line. What made this game so chippy back and forth? A lot of guys on both sides were talking yeah. after after plays. So. I mean, it's a chippy game regardless whether anything's on the line. Uh, we treat every game like it's the only game of the season, so we are playing every week. We just go 1-0, and I think uh, when we go out there, we just have a mindset, just be 1-0, when we step between those white lines, it, just, it doesn't matter whatever it takes. We got to do what we got to do, and uh, I think the guys went out there and did their jobs today. How much of a momentum killer was that when Jalen Red scored the touchdown, and then two plays later, Brady Breeze got the pick six, and yeah. Michael Wright's touchdown return? How much were those plays just backbreakers? Yeah, I mean, I think it was really big that we stepped up on all three phases of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. I mean, we've been waiting for that kick return. It's been one block away this whole year and I'm just super happy for my kill the way he hit it and got out uh, Brady made a big play came out of the post and uh, picked that off to get to the house and uh, I mean Juwan had a big game and he stepped up and did some big things out there for the team and uh, we're really looking forward to the film tomorrow and uh, just get better just you know, take this bye week and uh, find get healthy uh, just keep chipping away at the, at the at the block and just try to get, get better uh, it was fun I mean it's the first time I played with the club and probably my whole career like a real real full deal club so I mean, it was super fun I mean, I mean, there was some times where I wish I could have my hand back and just grab some people, but it is what it is. I mean, we went out there and got the dub. That's all that matters. Did your heart skip a beat when Herbert was laying there for a minute? There? I mean, a little bit, but I know Herbert, man. He's a, he's a warrior. He's a true competitor, man. If you watch his, even his high school tape, man, he's just a, a real dog, a real competitor. And we love Tim. Whatever Tim does, we follow him, man. That's our real leader of the team. And, and we're super excited when he handled himself and got up and got back out there and really showed the team how to fight through adversity and just fight through any injury and just uh, really do what he has to do. A lot of players, you know, from the California area, you know, talk about coming back here. Uh, what was it just like? Just the atmosphere kind of playing and being back home? Did give you a little extra juice some of those players to like coming back down here? Or? Yeah, I mean, it was big. I mean, we saw the corner that we had all the Oregon fans. There was a bunch of green scattered up throughout the whole stadium. So, I mean, I think it was pretty big for everybody to see the support that we had. Because, I mean, we do travel well as an Oregon uh, fan base. I think they did a great job, and we always love the fans. They always bring the energy and juice in us. And we like to take Oxford on the road, and uh, I think we did a good job of tonight. What's kind of the conversation like, you know, um, um, the first drive, and things are kind of getting chippy, things kind of yeah. get tough. And then, like, do you guys just kind of, like, you know, Guys, like over the sideline and talk about it. Yeah. Say, hey, we can settle down. It and is what it is. Just go off and just score. Exactly, it is what it is. I mean, it's, it should be out there. I mean, it's just every game. If you watch the first couple series, I mean, it's really chippy out there. So I mean, you got to just set the tone and really do what we got to do. And I think uh, the whole second half, they didn't say a word. So I mean, we did what we had to do to shut them up. And uh, we got a little carried away in the first quarter. Had a couple penalties that we uh, shouldn't have had. I mean, Austin did his thing. Unfortunately, we got kicked out the game. But I mean, we just got to make up for those things. And it's the next guy up, and we just have to keep moving. Sure, that first quarter played out. Almost identically to Utah last year. You're down 10 nothing, just been sacked twice, turnover, everything's going against you. You were able to claw out of that last year, but you couldn't close. How has this team been able to not just answer, not just close, but really pound teams and be authoritative? I mean, I think it just comes down to the way we've been training all offseason, the way we've been training during the season. I mean, we worked really hard on uh, coming out strong, and just I mean, we didn't come out that strong today, but finishing strong is our big emphasis of every practice every day, whether it's in the weight room, on the practice field, walkthroughs, anything, we just try to finish and I think uh, guys are taking that on this and they've done a really job a uh, really good job doing that. Coach Chris Long.